Following a tragedy tonight, a contractor electrocuted by high tension wires in Salem. The man was working at an old firehouse when he came in contact with these high tension wires. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. Liam Martin is off tonight. And I'm Paula Evan. Cruz had to wait for National Grid before they could help him. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in Salem tonight with the latest. Louisa? Well, Paula David, I just spoke with the deputy fire chief who tells me his firefighters felt absolutely helpless as they were unable to help this man stuck in an electrified metal basket waiting for the power company to show up. A metal basket suspended in midair, evidence of a terrible event off Salem's Loring Avenue. They were panicked. Everybody was wondering what was going on. Police say a 59-year-old contractor was painting window sills on the outside of this old firehouse when he touched a live wire. Neighbors watched in horror at what happened next. All of a sudden, I just heard a loud pop, and I saw a huge flame in the basket with the guy in it. And then I just saw him collapse, and um, he was just laying there. He wasn't even moving. The man dropped unconscious in the basket, which was also electrified. National Grid was called to the scene to shut the power off. They had to bring a ladder up to the basket to be able to get his body out. The contractor brought to the hospital, and sadly, he passed away. An awful outcome, making the work of restoring power even more painful. OSHA now investigating how this could happen. Now, the deputy chief also says he felt some anxiety when he heard a call come in regarding one of his own firehouses. Then he got here, saw the devastation in the faces of some of these workers who were working with this man. I'm told they've been working here for about three weeks and they were contracted by the city. Live in Salem, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.